Welcome to Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with a Main Guide. And today, we're going to put a paddle sleeve on this nice John Porter paddle. Um, I've got the example right here. This is my paddle. And this is just a leather paddle sleeve. And we're going to do this today. There's the baseball stitch. We're going to start it just above the throat on the paddle. You can see that. And uh, materials wise, we've got this nice piece of chrome tanned leather that's just a little bit, it's kind of the thickness of like a pretty good slice of cheese you'd have on your sandwich. I don't know how to describe it any other way. We've got um, the holes already punched in there. That helps a lot whenever you're working with leather. You can do that with a hole puncher. You can just pre-do it with like a little uh, needle or whatever. And then we're going to start with a waxed cotton thread and two Glover's needles. Hope you can see that. A waxed cotton thread and then just two generic Glover's needles. I give it a little twist so that they don't fall off. And I'm going to tilt the camera down and we're going to show you the details of how to do this baseball stitch. Okay. Now, I got this mat on my lap so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. We're going to start at the top and we're just going to go through both sets of holes. There's a lot of wiggle room, so don't get all fixated on where this is is on the paddle, especially until you get like nearly through the process. So we're going through both. Okay, this is the, the entire nature of the baseball stitch. From here, you're gonna make an X, okay? You're just gonna make an X and you're gonna go in the seam and out the eyelet, okay? In the seam, out the eyelet. In the seam, out the eyelet. Okay? And you're going to pull it tight. Then you're going to make an X. Okay? And then you're going to go in the seam and out the eyelet. In the seam and out the eyelid. Can you tell I say this to myself every time I do this stitch? Because it does help you. So then, next stitch, make an X, and we're gonna go in the seam and out the eyelid. The way this bollocks is up is you don't start in the seam. We're going in the seam and out the eyelid. Okay, then we're going to make, we're going to pull it tight, we're going to make an X. Don't, this will all tighten up, okay? Don't worry about the wiggle room that you can obviously see in it, okay? It's all going to tighten up and work out. And then we're going to go, we've got our X, we're going to go in the seam and out the eyelet. And this is the same baseball stitch, everybody that's used if you ever have to do this to your canoe, okay? And that's why, because when you make that cross, see how it all pulls from the inside and any seam, it, that protects it and it all pulls from the inside, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we'll I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, so you've got all the all the stitches in there and as you can see, for me, it's a little bit high. But like I said, lots of wiggle room, you guys. So you're just going to push it to the throat. Okay, I've done so many of these for myself. I know where this has to go on my paddle. Um, so, and then, then you're going to start working this and moving it and getting it nice and tight. And you're just going to start squeezing it and pulling it and squeezing it up and pulling it and getting that all nice and tight. And then you're going to finish it off with something as simple as just a square knot, okay? 
So you're just going to finish it off with a, a, a square knot at the end, um, maybe one or two, and it's see the little gap there? You're going to want that because that you're going to get it as tight as you can, and the little gap there is still okay because this is going to get wet, and it's going to... It's going to, the leather's going to stretch. Like tying your shoes, okay? You're going to pull it tight, and then just like the first part of tying your shoes, but you're going to go around three times, okay? Because when you pull this like that, that is really going to lock it in. So we're going to pull that like we've tied our shoes, but we have three of them. Oh, boy, oh, boy, leather gloves is a good idea at this point as opposed to just your fingers. And then we're going to do another one, two, and we're going to pull that tight. Okay. Now, we've got a nice knot there at the bottom. Um, what I like to do is I like to finish these off and burn them with a lighter. So there are the ends finished and burned off with a lighter. Okay, so once you get this far, you can seal it with any quality um, leather protectant, okay? Snow seal, Brooks Saddle Seal from the Bicycle Company. Um, you can even make your own. I'm using a, a combination of beeswax and um, animal fat um, to seal it up. And, and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. We're still sprucing up canoe gear because it's wicked cold out. So there it is. Beautiful leather sleeve. I'm Lisa Dehart, and you just spent three minutes with the main guide.